Hey, Chris. Um, you mentioned uh, uh, last week that you wanted to be able to schedule uh, parent-teacher conferences online, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you were looking for, um, but I'm, I'm going to show you um, what I might do in terms of scheduling that if, if I were in your shoes. So here at Harvard, we, we're, we're a Google Docs school, so we have a Google Apps domain, and when I click on Drive, which um, another, you know, that's all, it used to be called Docs, I have a whole series of Google Docs I can use, and I'm not sure if you use Google Docs or not, but if you sign up with a Google Apps account, you'd have access to, to Google Docs, and um, they're a great tool. What you can do is you can click Create, <clears throat> and you're going to create a form. And basically, if you are a Google Docs or a Google Apps school, you want to make sure that this is unclicked. It'll, it'll say something like... Um, so it says this will make your form accessible outside of harwood.org or yours might say outside of you know southburlington.org or SFB whatever you are are you sure you want to proceed and you click OK um, because otherwise people would have to be logged into their Harwood email in order to view the form and we, we don't want to have that happen so I would do something like um, you know basically a, a sign up form and you know you give a little extra information here as to what you're looking for them, for them to do and what I would do is um, you know I would ask them how good are the following days and times and then so that would be the question and I would do uh, let's see probably a scale um, no I would do a grid and so you can label the columns and the rows. So this one, you know, I would probably do just three. Um, you know, this is a great time for me or for us. Um, this might work or no way. Um, and then for, this is where I'd put the dates. So I would say, you know, Monday. Um, September, whatever it is, uh, from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, uh, Monday, September, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, Tuesday, September, you know, you get the drift, Wednesday, so you get the idea. And then I would click Done. And what they'll see is a, a chart like this. And they can just click on through there and say, oh yeah, you know, this would work, this would work. That's not going to work, that's not going to work. And you can use that information to help, to help you organize your schedule and you know, sort of please as many parents as you can. Uh, by default, your Google Form starts with two questions, two basic text questions. So you either want to get rid of that. But what I would probably do is click the pencil to edit it and I would change that to a paragraph text and just say you know comments or whatever and then make that done and that's about all it all it takes to create the form at that point you're just going to you're going to email the form and you can you can paste your contacts all of the parent emails into here um, and that form will go into the email. Um, you want to make sure you click include form in the email and I'll actually send this to you just so you can see what it looks like. Um, so Provost, there you are. So I'll send that to you and you can also um, if you go to more actions, or actually you don't need to do that, if you go down here, you can't quite see it in the in the video I'm doing here, but there's a link. You can view the published form here. So if people click on that link the, the form is right there as well so you can give them that that link that direct link in an email if you'd like as well um, and people fill it out so they'd go you know no way comments they submit it I'm gonna submit another response that will work that will work no way no way and they can only choose one for those comments too it's misspelled but you get the idea so they'll submit the form and then you have sign up form here in your Google Docs. So you go back to your Google Docs or Google Drive and you'll see your form. And when you click on that, it shows the spreadsheet. And 
you can see quickly you know who can go when and one little tip that you even see that better perhaps is you click on form and you see show summary of responses you get an idea well I mean that doesn't really give you specifically who's who's good for when but that's just nice to know but you get an idea you can you can sort of choose and figure out a good time that would work for everybody in that way if you want to edit the form once you're in here because you'll notice that you know there's no form. when you click on that it actually goes to the spreadsheet not the form if you want to edit the form or you forgot something you can always edit it by clicking on form and then clicking on edit form and then the form will come back up um, you can also choose a theme so maybe a a book theme or another book theme um, just to make it look a little schnazzier and that's probably what I would recommend um, if you were looking for something different like uh, something that, that that they can actually fill in online um, where as they fill it in um, it changes uh, you could you could you could go with a Google Doc um, again you could go with you'd create a document instead and you would basically create a table of the times you have available um, and this would be sign up and you would put basically the dates um, maybe you would do something like like this so date one Day two, day two, you would do, you would do meeting time, it's a little finicky, you would do meeting time, and then sign up. And then parents would come in. And then what you could do is you could share this document. You make it public, so you change it. Oops. Um, you actually make it public, and then you share that doc with people. But that can get kind of complicated or kind of problematic because people can actually write over each other, and that can be a little bit difficult. So I probably I think this is probably sort of the thing you're looking for. But at least it'll give you some sort of ideas from which to, to start. And you can come back to me with, with maybe a more thorough sort of a explanation of, of what you're after. So I hope that helps. Um, if not, you know, the use of Google Forms is great. You may already know it. You may not. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you go with or let me know what you figure out. And if I can, you know, be of any other help, you know, please let me know. I'd love to be, you know, involved and integrated in in Tanner's classroom as much as possible so you know please use me as a resource especially um, starting September or sorry October 15th to January 15th because I'm taking paternity leave so that would actually be an ideal time um, when I could really help provide some tech support or do some other you know interesting stuff in the classroom that might be a good time so um, again thank you for you know being Tanner's teacher and I hope this helps